Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Shop Talk, I want to talk about these guys a little bit. So a uh, viewer wrote in and he had modified my Creality um, bed leveling device to work with one of these. And these are a sort of an automotive series caliber depth finder, tire gauge, brake caliber reader, etc. Um, but the cool thing about it is these things are super cheap. It's like four bucks for one of these, sub four bucks. I bought a couple off of eBay, and I'll have the links down below, so if you're interested in this, you can get them. And the piece is, is this was so nifty. This um, this is kind of like um, the thing with a thousand uses, and especially it's so cheap. So one of the things I went ahead and did is I profiled it, and I built a model to receive it. And that's what this guy is. And so what happens is it basically just snaps into the model uh, just like this and pressure fits in and holds it just fine. Now I did also uh, add a three millimeter hole here so you can put an M3 to kind of uh, cinch on this because what happens is I think you can see here there's actually an opening right here uh, that it aligns to and will push in and hold it and lock it but really it's a very strong pressure fit. I mean I can't shake that out of there. I'm not squeezing it at all. And uh, so really nice. So I developed this model. It'll be out on Thingiverse. And the idea is, is you can take this model and add it to whatever you want and create your own uh, sort of um, gauge adapter, if you will, or whatever you want. And so again, I did all the hard work for you guys. All you do is take this into whatever modeling application and add it. Now one of the things in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you this in more detail. However, I also created a version for the Creality CR10 to go on to the hot end. And what I did is I just simply took this and I cut off half of it, and because I didn't need the other half. And again, this holds in there just fine and everything else without any type screws. And I did put a uh, three millimeter through here that would cinch on here if I needed it. I didn't know if I would, but I figured I was designing it. I put it in there anyway. Uh, but this kind of holds. Now the piece is, is uh, now for four bucks it doesn't come with the battery. They do take these um, they're silver mercury, yeah, silver mercury batteries, so it's the SR44. I did a whole series on these. I still stand by this. I know a couple of people, oh, the other batteries are the same. No, they're not. These uh, silver mercuries make a huge difference in driving these devices. The other non-silver mercuries die within, for me, at least a few hours. So, anyways... Uh, I'll have links to this also below, but I just wanted to share this as part of a shop talk because I think these can really add, um, I I'm, have all kinds of ideas for these in, in the coming future for my CNC, uh, for, um, I can use them for my laser uh, cutter, all kinds of stuff to align, to align the height of the laser, if you know what I mean, so I can come up with a, uh, a jig for that. Now the one piece is there's no spring loading on this, so I'm going to probably do a version uh, with a spring uh, that, that does become spring loaded. In other words, I'll have the uh, jig receive a spring and then this will just push against the spring pushing it down. However, that's not really a big deal because when you're doing, for example, like bed leveling, you can just take your finger and push it down. So you're going to want to zero it out. Now I'm going to do a whole series on this guy so you're getting a little precursor. Now both of these, when you see this video, will be out on Thingiverse. Um, but I'm going to do an upcoming video on this guy um, you know how to use it and, and that kind of stuff in a separate video again just kind of wanted to share you know what the potential is with this because i'm really geeked about discovering these and the cost because most of the time a dial indicator even a cheap one is 14 to 15 bucks so this is a good 10 bucks cheaper um, than the dial indicator and it's you know even from the calibers it, it's still probably uh, less than half the price so again I think this is a neat uh, economic opportunity to integrate it now the other thing for those inventress there is a set of data ports beneath here now I haven't tried it with my USB data cable something for the future um, uh, you know from the clockworks I did that whole episode or actually a couple episodes on the clockworks um, you know dial indicator anyways uh, this does have data ports, so I don't know. You guys hack up something, let me know. I'd be interested, and maybe over the winter I'll work on something too. So, anyways, just figured I'd share this because I thought this was really cool. This stuff will be out in Thingiverse. I'll have links to these and the batteries and everything below. So, if you're interested, all this stuff, links in below. 
Cheers. See you in the next video. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, swag shop, and we'll catch you later. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.